affectionately known as Miss Alice, Alice Robertson was the first woman ever elected to Congress from Oklahoma and America's first female postmaster of a Class A post office. She was born January 2, 1854 at a Tallahassee mission in the Creek Nation of Indian Territory. After graduating at the head of her class from Elmira College in New York, she ran an Indian girls boarding school, an institution which developed into Henry Kendall College, now the University of Tulsa. In 1900, Robertson was chosen as supervisor of Creek Indian Schools, a post she held until 1904 when President Theodore Roosevelt appointed her postmaster at Muskogee. She helped recruit troops for Roosevelt's Rough Riders during the Spanish-American War of 1898 and personally prepared a field kit with sewing necessities and a small Bible for each soldier who left for the war. When 15,000 troops passed through Muskogee in 1916 en route to the Mexican border to pursue Pancho Villa, she met the trains and provided the men with sandwiches, cake, and milk, with ingredients she'd grown from her own farm, named Sa Okla, Creek for Gathering Place. In 1920, concerned about the direction of American society, she ran as a Republican for the second district seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. Her platform was simple. I am a Christian. I am an American. I am Republican. Only the second woman elected to Congress, Miss Alice, was the first woman to preside over the House of Representatives. After her election, she announced she would concentrate on promoting legislation to better the lives of Indians, women, farmers, soldiers, and working people. Then, unfortunately, she attacked the newly formed League of Women Voters, thinking it to be a women's rights group. Miss Alice failed to win re-election in 1922. The former member of Congress lived much of the rest of her life in poverty. President Harding secured her a position in Muskogee at the Veterans Hospital in May of 1923, and monthly stipends from friends such as Lou Wentz of Ponca City, and a 125 monthly salary for her position as research assistant for the Oklahoma Historical Society kept Miss Alice from starvation for the remainder of her life.